What's up guys? Creek Diggers coming to you. Tuesday morning. Me and Corey Wellens is back out here behind this uh, 1850s, 1860s house. And we're doing the one right behind the one we did on Sunday. We think it's a uh, wood liner. He's laying the walls out now. We've already felt quite a few pieces of glass in there, so it's promising. The one we did up in front, let me show you what's going on real quick. So here's the one we did, what was it, uh, Sunday, had a little bit of water in the bottom of it, was around turn of the century to about 1915. So we're hoping that this one is the uh, 1860s up to uh, 1890s pit. Hopefully it's going to be a little deeper. It is wood line, so we're thinking that... Uh, it's the original. Hopefully we probed the whole rest of the yard and not found anything. So <laughs> we're just gonna we're just gonna keep at it after we get it opened up and uh, get a culture and everything. We'll see you guys right back. Stay tuned for the action. Hopefully it's gonna be a great, great day. Here we go. Guys, we got one more uh, small, well, not small, but we got one more plug to roll up. You can see exactly how we do it. This one we cut in threes or thirds and uh, basically just rolled it up like carpet to the end of the hole. And after we refill it, we'll roll it back out and it'll look nice. But I'm gonna get back in here to help Corey and uh, see you back. All right guys, well that wood liner is officially done. Even though we dug two horseshoes, thought it was gonna be an outstanding pit thought it was going to be older it was not it was actually a little bit newer 1915 1920s got a larger size sloan's liniment got an atlas strong shoulder mason got a queen-o company out of cumberland two cumberland brewings three cumberland brewings an abner royce a couple slick meds Little uh, mason jar seal, insert, and then three marbles, two clays, and then a solid blue. That's it, guys, out of this pit. We did not find the old one. Same amount of bottles and three marbles. Again. We did not find the old pit yet, so maybe at a later date, I'm not sure. Um, but we're going to see what else we can get into. We'll see you on the next adventure. Let's go. Guys, we just got done digging that one privy. We're just done. And those two it. horseshoes are paying off now. We came out to Double Diamond Ridge after much 100%. debate. I just popped out a bottle that we've never seen. We started a new hole down a little lower than we ever have. I got a Johnston City, Johnston City Bottling Company out of Johnston City, Illinois. And check this out, guys. I just popped this out, I mean, three inches under the ground. I don't even know what to say right now. Look, look here. <laughs> An aqua gayola. Just chilling there. An aqua gayola. Real rare. Reinhardt Bottling Works. Gayola sewed out of Cumberland. Yes, what a start. But you can see, is that a pipe bowl laying there? Oh, yeah, look at that. There's a pipe bowl laying there. <laughs> so we got a pipe bowl we got a monster uh wine bottle here let's go ahead and pull it out of there big old monster wine one back behind it. let's keep pulling guys there's something behind it it's amber though oh uh, what was that whiskey. yeah just some kind of a whiskey bottle so it's looking really good guys we're gonna keep pulling stuff out of here we'll see you back on the next cool thing what's up guys creek diggers coming to you wednesday morning i'm out here at double diamond ridge getting ready to jump back in the hole i was in last night where i got that uh aqua gayola from cumberland maryland and uh the guys are out here today putting in a silt fence and jimmy the backhoe operator said he's gonna dig us a monster monster hole right here so here in a little while we're gonna have a big monster hole right here where I'm standing and we can just jump in there and uh, 
pick stuff out. This is going to be incredible. This is going to be uh, the end of this area pretty much within the next week or two. They're clearing all this out and putting in a parking lot and they're going to be putting buildings up on the hill. We're still going to have permission to dig further back, but all this is going away. So today is going to be an absolutely incredible day. I'm going to dig as much as possible and uh, we're going to see what all comes out of the hole. Hey, stay tuned for the action, guys. Here we go. All right, guys. They're making a monster hole for us right now. Let's go over here and watch it. See if anything crazy comes up here. First time digging with a backhoe. First time digging with a backhoe. Dang. Weeks and weeks worth. The beer bottle just fell out. Might be a soda up there. Hold on a second, Jimmy. Let's go up here and see what this is real quick. All right, go ahead and look around a little bit and I'll, I'll go down and do this. All right, brother, I appreciate it. Got a soda bottle right here, he popped out. Coca-Cola. <laughs> Straight side Coca-Cola, guys. In about two seconds of digging. Look at that. <laughs> That's cool. Dang. Undamaged, too. No damage at all on that. Real nice aqua. Straight side Coca-Cola. We got. Let's see what else we have here. The easy bright polish, shoe polish. Some kind of little creamer jar. Looks like there's a beer or something down in the hole. I'm gonna walk around and pick stuff up and uh, if I find anything cool down there, I'll let you know and then I'm gonna start digging right in that hole. All right, let's get it guys. Guys, I'm just digging right in this hole that Jimmy uh, dug for me with the backhoe. You can see I'm down about six feet. Just popped a nice blown in mold uh, Dr. Kilmer's swamp root. Kidney, liver, and bladder cure. Or remedy, I mean. Remedy. Oh. Kidney, liver, and bladder remedy out of Bing, Binghampton, New York. Or Binghamton, I think is how they say it. Real crudely made. Look how the um, ball scene's got little dots all over it. Nice blown in mold. Aqua. Heck yeah. Number two uh, keeper out of the hole so far. I'm going to keep working down, guys. See you back. All right, guys. Corey made it here from work. He's working down in uh, a little undug spot that... Jimmy dug with the uh, backhoe, opened it up for us. So we're just working around finding our undug stuff. And uh, so here's some stuff that I've popped out so far. I got a sweet little OD Chemical Company out of New York. Nice little amber square. I got this little guy here. It's an AM Vaporator Company out of Chicago, Illinois. It's a Chica Goyle bottle. Nice little blown in mold chemical. I got a sweet little amber poison bottle, just the one panel embossed. Nice triangular poison. Around 1910, 1915 era. You guys seen the uh, straight side Coca Cola come out in the shovel earlier? Really, really sweet bottle there in mint condition. And last but not least, so far, 
I got this cool uh, Dr. Kilmer Swamp Root Kidney, Liver, and Bladder Remedy. Around 1906, 1910. It is blown and mold. Sweet Aqua. So, yeah, right there, guys. Stuff that uh, we missed last time so far. I'm just going to keep working forward. I'm right on, right on the bottom. You can see the massive hill up there. Once I get to the base of that, I'm probably going to start cutting under a little ways like Corey's doing there. We're going to see if we pop anything else out. Cool, but lots of little stuff coming out. Lots of beers, lots of uh, whiskey flasks, little extract bottles, glues, mucilages, all kinds of stuff. See that? Guys, here's our trench me and Corey's working on. We're getting a little help from uh, Jimmy. He's gonna pull all this top off so it stops falling on our heads. Look at that. Yeah. That's how you do it right there. Dang. That's crazy. <laughs> granite where little granite where pots rolling out. Dang, look at that. Opened her up real nice. Now, if you, if you could knock that, can you knock that down? Right here. Guys, Corey's digging right beside me where Jimmy uh, pulled the bank back for us. And look here. He has an embossed blob in the hole. Number three out of oh, Double man. Diamond Ridge. It's 1895, it's dated. 1895, a dated blob, guys. Oh, man. This is cool. Out. It's the first time we've ever dug with a uh, backhoe. <laughs> yeah, we don't normally Dang, do Dang, look it. at that. Uh, we don't normally do it. 1890, what did it say? 1895. 1895. Couple blows, I'm gonna dig with that. Yeah. Real, see this stuff right here? We ain't seen soil like this in a long time in this dump. It's real thick, compact stuff is where you want to be. It's really hard to dig in, but it's where the bottles are at. Oh my stuff. Now go ahead and pull her out of there. There she is. <laughs> yeah, this what is in the world a... is it? It is a registered. Murdoch Murdoch V Freeman Portland Maine Murdoch Freeman Portland Maine 1895, 1895 guys Sweet blob man Slant embossing That is cool yeah. Nice real nice Corey Rose Heck yeah brother Look at that guys, number three embossed blob out of Double Diamond Ridge in three years of digging here. That's how you do it right there. See back. What's up guys? Trick Diggers coming to you. Thursday morning. I'm out here at uh, Double Diamond Ridge where Corey got the third embossed blob yesterday, a Murdoch Freeman out of Portland, Maine. Blobs from all over the place coming out of here. Just not a lot. But uh, I'm standing right here where it once used to be a, about a 10 foot hole that the guy Jimmy dug for us yesterday. But let me flip you around and show you. So here is our dump. Here it is guys, well here's part of it. We're not gonna be able to dig anymore. All smoothed out right here was where the big giant hole was. 
we still have permission for all that back in there even after they're done doing what they're doing but you can see how quickly it can go away three years we hammered this spot and uh got some really nice stuff matter of fact this tree right here leaning over is where me and Corey got our very first double diamond coca-colas which is why we were focusing on this spot yesterday by the way i had him dig a monster trench right here and we just worked all along any spot that we had undug got some nice stuff got some nice druggists Corey ended up with four different druggists including a rare uh spark spark something out of cumberland we'll show all that in the uh wrap up so right now what i'm going to do is remember a couple evenings ago after we finished that wood liner and we poked a new hole down under this tree which is actually past where just past where the fence line is going to go so we're good they didn't fill that in so I'm just going to go right back down here to this area, this flat mound area right here, and bust into it. Corey's going to be here. He's going to get a haircut here in a little bit, and then he'll be over. And I'm going to start digging right there and uh, see what we can get. So stay tuned for the action, guys. I think the guys are coming back today to do some more work. So if they do, we're going to try to get Jimmy to take the bulldozer and rip this whole area out just momentarily so we can see what's down real far but for right now i'm gonna start hand digging right back in that same area let's see what we can get into guys here we go check it out guys i'm about i don't know three feet down so far i'm into a real nice kind of darker rust layer and i just popped out my first good bottle here check it out i already cleaned it off so it's nice and shiny but it's a beautiful everlasting black dye out of baltimore maryland he's coming in a couple different sizes this one is the three ounce three ounce everlasting black dye out of baltimore maryland watch for that in uh, next wednesday's auction really cool bottle real pretty nice cobalt you can see i'm just working right down Working down, working down, trying to get to that bottom. See back, guys. Just opening and expanding my wall out a little wider, guys, and I just popped out this flask. I've been popping out flasks right and left, but they're all slick. This is the second one I've dug of these out of this dump. This one's got real nice, bold embossing, though. The last one I dug very faint. Anybody ever seen this flask before, guys? It says, Little More Special Blend content seven ounces it's a machine made screw top early screw top around 1915 1920s era little more special blend might even be a little older than that but if anybody knows about this whiskey flask or anything about it uh comment down below please it's only the second one i've seen and both of them have come out of this dump all right see that Guys, Jimmy's back with the uh, monster, monster backhoe. Right over there is where we dug the hole yesterday. Precision, precision driver right there. And he's gonna make me a monster trench right here. Yeah. Really, really good spot. We uh, This is where we first initially dug at this dump. And some really good stuff came out of here. I'm just watching the pile right now just to see if I see any milk or anything come out, guys. Oh, that's already been dug by me and Corey. Most of it has, anyway. You can see couple of our uh, Dr. Pepper bottles in there. Hold on a second, Jimmy. 
There's something green in the hole right here. Something green right here, guys. Oh, it's just a broken, just a broken soda. Broken extract, Cumberland Brewing. All right, keep going. I told him I wanted it to be about six, seven feet down because you can see the nice gray ash you just poked into. Yeah, look at that. Real nice layer right there, the bromo just fell out. I think that's going to be good. I think that's good, Jimmy. I think that's good. Good, okay, buddy. Yeah, I appreciate that. Look at that, guys. They got about a six, seven foot hole now. Right down to the beautiful gray ash layer. There's bottles sticking out here and there. So, I'm going to jump down in there, and uh, if I pull anything cool out, I'll turn the camera back on. Guys, Corey just got here and uh, I let him jump in the hole that Jimmy made for us with the backhoe. He's raking around. He just popped out a uh, real nice blue Bennington marble. Check that out. Real, real pretty. First marble today. I popped out this real cool lamp. Top of a lamp. Lamp globe. Ground lip. Pretty cool. We got a Dr. Farney's from Hagerstown and an Edison light bulb. That's it so far. We're gonna keep working at it. See you back there. Guys, Corey's down to a small pocket here. You can see a couple bottles sticking out. Too bad this ain't full. Oh, it's broken milk. Most of them's probably gonna be ketchups. <laughs> Few things sticking out. Huh? Yeah, you do. There's a couple of them sticking out. You can see we're working right down this orange layer, guys. This is the money layer. Another down one here. Another one under there. The druggist. Yeah. Thing, Heck yeah. We're just gonna stay alive and get this whole pocket, guys. Shoe polish. Two on the strap side. Yeah. Half pint. Register. Ooh, what is that? Oh, we got a sweet little pot. Oh man. Now we're getting excited. Oh <laughs> man, guys. I what hope. is that? I hope. Is that a big hawk? Virginia Dare. Big Virginia Dare? Yeah, Virginia Dare. Nice. Big Virginia Dare. Virginia Dare right there. Heck yeah. What in the world is that picture thing? Man. Oh, it's broken. You sure? Mm -hmm. Work on it a little bit. It might just be a little small. It looks real pretty. I wish it wasn't. Yeah, it does. That's real nice. Around it, there's all kinds of debris. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like big chunks of stuff. Mm -hmm. I think it's 
Christina will like it though. Alright guys, we're gonna keep working at it. See that. Get it. <laughs> Alright guys, look here, I've dug two horseshoes. Got them both sitting up for good luck. Me and Corey are in the marbles today. We got four marbles. We got two blue Bennington's. A real nice blue swirl. Check this one out here. Real pretty blue acro agate swirl or alley swirl, whatever it's called. So we got those three. A couple bottles. Got a C.H. Holtzman, a small one. Got a Wright Brothers, sole proprietors. Out of Dunkirk, New York. Got a real nice light mint green warranted oval flask a colgate perfumers a Melampi's, a green cumberland brewing a dr ch brace homeopathist cumberland maryland a sb golfs herb bitters and this real pretty whimsical cane yeah we don't we still don't have one of these homeopathists full that one's got the neck knocked off, but the panel's in real good shape. And then, right down here in the hole where I'm working, guys, check this out right here. Right there, I got a shooter marble in the hole. Shooter marble in the hole right there, let's get it. Oh, it's only a piece of one. Shoot. It's busted. It's, it's got a piece broke off of it. But man, that is gorgeous. It's like a violet color. Shoot. That would have been a real pretty marble. So we got four and a half so far. All right, guys, see you back. Check it out, guys. Working up in that orange rust layer. Look what I just raked out. What you got? A marble? I got a handgun right there, guys. A handgun. And a bottle right there. And Corey's got a marble over there. He says it's a real pretty marble. But check this out. Yeah. Yeah, nice little pistol. Cool. I think that's number four of the year already. Number four of the year. Both I've got two and Corey's got two now. That's sweet. There's the trigger. Heck yeah, I'll get it cleaned up a little bit and show it better at wrap up, but nice. Number four of the year. Right there. Let's go ahead and get this bottle right here. I think it's just a beer, but let's go ahead and get it. Yeah, just a Cumberland Brewing. Cumberland Brewing and a pistol. All right, guys. See you back. Guys, right behind where that pistol just came out, you can see that orange layer right up above. I got a uh, 1915 Coca-Cola in the hole. Let's go ahead and get it. It just rolled right out.
all the uh, laddering's peened out. This is one of them prototype weird ones. Look how thick that that uh, side is. That side ridge right there. It says Coca-Cola, but the date and everything's been removed off of it. Really, really cool Coca-Cola right there. I show it better at uh, cleanup, but that is cool. I'm real happy with that find. See you back. Yeah, I can see the Bernheim. Mm -hmm. Corey got a really nice Mount Vernon rye, pure rye whiskey in the hole down here, yeah. guys. You should be able to dig out with your hand. What the yeah, that's nice. Oh, what's this? What's that? Oh, what it's a come on, do what I think it is. No, uh, you know, like I, thought huge. I thought it was a liver pills. Oh, uh, oh, yeah, you ain't dug one of them, have you? Yeah, out of privy, it's never out of here. I think it's full, it really does sound like it. Yeah, man. Nice. I mean, just embossed the healthy thing. Mount Vernon Pure Rye Whiskey. Yeah, that's a nice one, brother. Sweet. Check that out, guys. Embossed all up. Is that one blown? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it says the Cook and Bernheimer Company full court refilling of this bottle prohibited. Heck yeah, nice pickup, brother. Corey's working right down underneath this tree, guys, right down that root. Beautiful whiskey. See, you guys, my phone's at one percent, but Corey just popped out a uh, four roses, Paul Jones, Louisville, Kentucky whiskey. So we're in the whiskey hole, I yeah, guess. Yeah, he's in the whiskey he's hole. Got a Mount Vernon and a Four Roses. Heck yeah, brother, Showing man. Showing the whiskeys today. Nice. Let me get a picture of that real quick. All right, guys, real quick, 1% left on my battery. You can see the two horseshoes paid off real nice, the fourth pistol of the year. Go over the bottles real quick. Colgate Perfumer, Wright Brothers, Dr. C.H. Brace, S.B. Goff's Herb Bitters, C.H. Holtzman, Dr. Farney's, Virginia Dare, Big Bennington, uh, some kind of a pot, Melampy's. Corey ended up with two Four Rose whiskeys. Got the uh, Little More Special Blend. Got a nice light aqua, registered half pint, a big, big bromo. Both me and Corey got three inch everlasting black dyes from Baltimore. I got that sweet prototype uh, Coca Cola. Corey popped out that weird little silhouette with two women on it holding each other or something. And that cool seal. I got a nice ice blue coffin flask. I got a pretty cool McCormick and Company. I got a Riker from New York. Corey got a CH Holzman. A lick. Hey guys. <clears throat> All right. I'm back out here. It's a uh, Friday afternoon. Me, Travis Jr., and my buddy Ann. They're all out here back at Double Diamond Ridge, and I'm back in my hole I started before the backhoe operator got here. And I was just taking the uh, top section off right here, and look what just rolled out. Another absolutely beautiful aqua gayola from Dad, Cumberland, Maryland. Yeah, it's mint condition. Dad, I found something. I found something. Dad, I found something. There's glass. Hold on, son. Look. There's all kinds of glass. Yeah, right here. Yeah, it's a piece. Don't rub your hand across that. It'll get cut. Don't get 
But yeah, out here with Trav Jr. day before he turns nine years old. And uh, he's always been my good luck charm. But check that out, guys. A beautiful aqua Reinhardt Bottling Works Gayola out of Cumberland, Maryland. Sweet, sweet find. All right, I'm going to keep working back in there. See that nice orange compact stuff? I'm going to keep working at it. See you back, guys. All right, guys, so I'm digging and uncovering and Trav's pulling. Go ahead, buddy. You get that one first? Yeah. Uh, there it is. Oh, cracked, what is it? Cracking. Oh. What was it? Hold on a minute. i never seen that one before. We'll keep it. D. Laval Syrup Whooping Cough. Dad, put it in my pile. Croup, Philadelphia. Put it, oh, put man. It in my put it in my pile. That's a killer. Dad, just put it in my pile. Alright, go ahead and pull the other ones. That, that soda looks cracked, too, up in there. What's that? Broken. Broken little whiskey bottle. Hey. Now that one. Words. It does? I think. I need to pick up here. Get it? No. You doing good. What's this? I can use this if I can get it this out. I need I need to get this so I can pull this out, like dig it. Oh, where did that go? Where did that go? Oh okay, I'll just use this. There you go. How are you talking? I think it's broke. I see a nice crack in it, buddy. Okay. But I don't think it's broken. I think it's full, though. Okay, I'm getting this so I can... Can you get it out of there? Yeah, I found a piece of that plate that you were talking about. That kind of yeah, that pretty flood blue. Yep. Yeah, you did. Look at that. No, I can use it and then you can Is that what you're going to use? Yep. Alrighty. Got it. Go ahead and pull it out of there now. Yep. Oh, the top's knocked off of it. What was it? It was a Melanthi Bottling Works. Melanthi Bottling Works. Alright, guys. We're going to keep working. That's a crier right there, Trab Bus. Yeah, but just put it in my Philadelphia pile. whooping cough and crew. Put it in my pile, though. Put it in my pile. Please. D. Laval's syrup. Alright, see you back, guys. Guys, I was just cleaning the hole out for Trab to get back down in here, pull some more bottles, and uh, rake this little guy out. H.K. Mulford. Company chemist out of Philadelphia. Amber. Ground screw top, ground lip. It's got an F on the base of it. Really, really cool bottle. Heck yeah. See back. You started it, Dad? Yep. Alright, Travis getting ready to pull another bottle, guys. Here it comes. Easy, Travis. Easy. I guess I'm ready to come out yet. It's ready. Wiggle it a little bit. There you go. Doing that. It's coming. It's stuck. Can you pull the one out beside it? The little one? Try to pull the little one out beside it. Yeah, that one. Will that one come out? Nope. No, not yet. Right, we're going to keep working on it, guys. We'll see when it's ready to come out. Yeah, I think it's ready. Is it ready? Easy. Just keep the camera on. Okay. Easy. You don't want to break it. Put the nail over here. The nail. It's wedged in there tight, isn't it? Just get a wet. Yeah. Alright, we'll see you guys. Trap finally got it out. Looks like some kind of a little, uh, pain bottle like a haze pain king or something like that no no embossing it's got a p on the base of it 
and then a little slick three and one he just popped out all melted up we're gonna keep working this layer we'll see you back chad's got a soda bottle in the hole don't fry on it uncover the top of it why because that might be a good one buddy can you get that piece of rock out of there it's real rooty in here so i'm trying to get the best video angle i can wait was this broken you can get that crop piece out of there, you should be a gooder. That's a big crop piece too, isn't it? He's gonna stab. Okay, yeah, you need to scoot over, scoot over a little bit so I can see. There you go, just look at that, buddy. Nice. Can you get it? You need no help? Nope, I'm just gonna go for the bottle. Okay. Careful, there's a cut piece of broken glass beside it. I'm just gonna go for the bottom. There you go. You're getting there. Looks like it might be a Coca Cola or something, I can't tell you. It comes, easy. Easy. What is it? Oh, it's a no. soft bottle. Now, can I get this out? It's got embossing, doesn't it? No, just a slick sauce bottle. Challenge I'm sauce. Get this out. All right. I'm gonna get the truck out. Dang. Stuff. All right, we're gonna keep working at it, guys. See you back. Birthday boy's got a big square in the hole right here, guys. Here it comes. What? Oh, the top's knocked off of it. What was it? Just a slick. Just a slick square. Dang. All right, see you back. Um, oh, it is broken. Yeah, it is. I got it. What? It was just a slick soda anyway. No embossing on that one. We got the last pocket of bottles of the evening, guys. Dad, you didn't Trad's see this gonna one. pull them all out, Dad, and we're going to see what we got Dad, here. Dad, you didn't see this one. I just found this yeah. one. Yeah. I just found this one. Just be careful. If I get this one out, this one will definitely come out. And if I get Take that little one out first, buddy. Yeah, that one. Pull that one out first. Maybe. With your hands. I'm just going to dig under it so I can, like, just... Like, I don't know. Get back over where you was at, and they blocking the whole camera again. Oh! You get it? Dad. You got anything on it? Now. It ain't going nowhere. It's fine. Just a slick little mud. Broken. Broken. That one's broken. Dad, can I take this down? Take this All right, guys. We'll see you. Guys, I was just cleaning out this section over to my right before we leave, and I uh, just popped out this bottle, and I noticed it has embossing on it. Check this out says the FW Fitch the FW Fitch company yeah out of Boone Boone Georgia what in the world <laughs> look at that FW Fitch company out of Boone Georgia I don't know some kind of a medicine or a tonic or Wow, that's awesome. That is awesome. It is machine made, probably around 1910, 1915. Anybody know anything about that bottle? The FW Fitch Company, Boone, Georgia. Wow. Long way from home. All right, guys. I think that's going to do it for today. I'll go ahead and do a wrap up real quick. See you right back. All right, guys, here's the wrap up for the day. I mean, we were only out here about two hours, but Trav's ready to go. Double Diamond Ridge did not disappoint again. Check it out. A beautiful, beautiful Aqua Gayola Reinhardt Bottling Works. Mint condition, very first bottle out of the hole. Then out popped a gorgeous Amber HK Mulford ground screw top chemist from philadelphia then a little tiny it is a little melted but still really cool bottle a dr king's new life pills pretty neat you can still read the embossing and everything on it and then right at the very last second the fw fitch company from boone is it boone pennsylvania no boone georgia Boone, Georgia. Check that out. The F.W. Fitch Company. Boone, Georgia. So there's my finds for today. 
lot of fun out here with my son. And then we got Ann up on the hill, the gleaner. She comes out here and picks up shards and makes mosaics and things like that. Dad, I almost lost this My buddy berry. Trav Jr. This one, Let me see that, buddy. Don't. Dug this earlier, the guys. Nail I don't know if it's like a fence topper. Trav said that he so, thought it was like a flare gun, it, it but work. I have no idea. Yeah, it's pretty work. ornate. I'll show it better when I get it cleaned up, but whatever that thing was, you guys tell me. And there's the finds for the day right there. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the last couple days of this awesome place and getting some help with the bulldozer. And uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time, guys. Awesome, awesome.